Africa, South America, Europe and Asia. What an amazing day. So I'm here to give you a couple of keys for your success. And if you've been on Sunday school, you know, to think is to create. And they tell us that we have 60,000 thoughts a day, but only one at the time. So don't let that only one be negative, okay? If we have 60,000 thoughts a day, that means that we have a per necklace of thoughts. And that is the movie of your life. Because if think is to create, we are creators. So, whatever you are, who you are, what you have, what you don't have today, is the sum of all the thoughts up until today. So if you're not satisfied, you want to change something, you got to change. Because for things to change, you got to change. And, um, you know, these webinars and online events can give you so much education. And how do we know? How do we know that we can be successful? Because sometimes, you know, we doubt ourselves and our possibilities. But listen to this. Look it into a children's eye. You can see the real force, you know, the children. They believe anything. They hope for everything. They don't have any doubts. You don't have to teach children to dream because children are born dreamers. So are you. Because in the hospital, when we were born, you know, we came out of the mother's womb, you know, yeah, we come out here and the, the, there was not a tag who said, you know, oh, here's little Alfred, he's such a loser, we put him over here, you know, you know, and then, you know, oh, here's Sarah, she's a successful, we put her over here, you know, no, that's not the way it works. We all come out with the same opportunities, but then something happens along the way. And it's all in the power of your mind. Because someone, somewhere, put something inside of you. And uh, this, is, this is magic. I love this because it means that anyone can be successful. Anyone. You out there listening right now, you can be successful if you start to change the way you think. If you're going to be number one, you're going to think like number one. You know so mindset break it up mindset what is your mind set up on you know we got to set goals we got to make a plan we got to all do all those things and I have a pretty amazing story and why it's amazing it was I, I I'm in the story anyway so this is true because I've been in this industry for many, many years. And uh, when I started out, I didn't know very much, but I learned from the best. And um, when I was maybe six, seven months in the business, this is 25 years ago, and I was building you know, my team and I had a pretty good start. And I was thinking, I should, I should you know, build somewhere else, go somewhere else geographically geographically because you know if uh, if you spread your business you don't have all the apples in the same basket okay so I was thinking mm, where should I build where should I go where should I do this business and I need some new content I was thinking wow if I build business where my dad lives he, he lived all the way up in the north of Sweden then I could go visit him and do business at the same time so I said wow that's pretty amazing so I was thinking, so I'm going to go visit him in between Christmas and New Year's. Then I'm going to find someone up there and I'm going to start building my business. And this was back in the days, you know, when you did business the hardcore way. You did pen and paper. You met them at the, uh, you know, in the hotel lobby. You know, you had to call them up and set meetings. Not like today. Everything is so easy. You know, you just send out links. Bam. And it's done. Anyway, so we went up to my dad's house and... I came up and all focused, you know, this is all about focus. 
know, I was so focused because I had all my goals written down, all my dreams that I looked at every night, and I knew why I was doing this. You know, when you have your why, how is easy. So I went up there and said, okay, I gotta find some context. But I didn't know anyone up there. I'd never been to Northern or Sweden at all. So I was thinking, hmm, what should I do? So I gotta ask my dad. So, hey dad, you know, do you know anyone that I could uh, show my business to? Because I wanna build up here. I wanna build a huge organization up here in, in Northern Sweden. And he's like, oh no, no, I don't know anyone. And I was like, but you gotta know someone. No, no, no. And I was like, oh. You know, crazy. And I, I keep bugging him. You got to know if, I mean, someone has been in sales or done something. And he's like, no, 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 I don't know. And all of a sudden I hear a voice in the corner. And it was my dad's wife. She, she's like, uh, I know one. Like, what? Birgit, who do you know? I know a guy. He worked with me, you know, for... 30 years ago, you know, in an old company. His name is Michael. Oh, what is his last name? Michael. Michael knew. So I'm like, when, you know, this is the, I, I told you 25 years ago, some of you don't even know what a phone book is. But I went to the phone book and tried to look up his name. Michael knew, Michael knew. Oh, there he is. I got his number. Number, you know. So I started to call him. It's like, you know, back in the days when the, those phones, like, and I hear a guy answering the like, Michael. Like, hey, Michael, you don't know me, but my name is Peter Jacobson, and I got this business opportunity. Click. He's like, he hung up on me. Can you believe it? It's like, oh, but no one screws with Peter Jacobson because I was focused. I was so focused that no one can ever stop me. So I'm like, <laughs> Michael. Hey, Michael, it's me again, Peter Jacobson. Who are you? What are you calling me for? What is this? And, listen, listen, don't hang up on me. I got this business idea. You got to see it. I'm here in Sundsvall with my dad. And yeah, I know we don't know each other, but I got your number from a name uh, from uh, Birgit. You remember Birgit? No, I don't remember Birgit. Well, it was many years ago. Anyway, we got to meet. I don't have time for this, you know. Why are you calling me? What, what is this? Listen, we got to meet. No, I don't have time. Please. And he hung up on me again. But no one screws with Peter Jacobson because he was focused. So I call him up again. Hey, Michael, it's Peter again. What? Who are you? Stop doing this. I said, listen, you got to see me. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. So you got to see me. And he's like, well, you know, this is almost in between Christmas and, you know, we don't have time. And my wife, we are having dinner and I don't know why you're bugging me. And, but listen, you have 15 minutes, 30 minutes. No, I don't. And we're going to the movies tonight, so I don't have time. And I said, then I'll be there. <laughs> and I hung up. So, you know, he didn't get a chance to just stop me because I was so focused. I was so focused, you couldn't even believe it. I knew that I'm just going to sign that guy up. Anyway, so I was thinking, the movies. Okay, he said it was going late. So I was thinking, I looked up in the paper, saw the movies. Oh, it was ending, I think, I think like middle of the night, like 12, uh, noon at night. And I said, I'm going there. So drove down there, you know, I said, then I remember... I don't know how he looks like. I've never seen him in my life. So I was like, okay, this is going to be tricky. But I'm going to figure it out because I was focused. I was focused. So I said, if I stand here out, you know, where, where all the people come out from the movies, I'm going gonna, gonna to find him and he's going to see me and it's going to all work out. So I was standing there like, you know, had this black leather uh, uh, jacket and I was looking at like, People start coming out, and, and it's, uh, that, there he is. No, that's not him, okay. You know, and all the way in the back, I see a guy go like this. And I was like, whoa, it's him. You know, I got him. Michael, you know, and he come up there. Hey, Michael, Peter Jacobson, good to see you. And he's like, mm. And listen, then he told me, when, he had, when we have been working a couple of years, he got the guts to tell me, he said, you know, remember that day at the movie? I told my wife, the idiot is here. 
So, yeah, but you know, no one screws with me, Peter, Jacobs. I was so focused. I was so focused. I just had to get this out. So he told me later also, he brought me to the worst place in Sundsvall. It was like a biker's club. You know, where, where there were you know, fights in the bar and it was smoking and, you know, crazy people are drunk and throwing glasses all around. He brought me there to do my presentation. But listen, I was so focused, nothing could stop me. So I did my presentation. I said, here's you, you know, got two legs. Here's what you're going to make. And he's like, I'm in. And I signed him up. Listen, that leg brought me 80,000 people because I was focused and you never ever give up like you once said here on the stage earlier today you never ever give up whoever tried to talk you out of it it's a done deal you got to be focused because your life will always move in the direction of the most dominant pictures in your mind that's why you need to set goals because the goals will give you focus. The goals will give you energy. The goals will give you something to work on and work for. So guys, the best of your life will be the rest of your life. Because you're not who you think you are. You are who you think you are. See you all.